Hello everyone, it's Miss Mallory from Boys and Girls Club of Marion County. Today I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of public speaking. I'm also going to be giving you some tips on public speaking, and this is through the Youth of the Year program. Very first do is to make sure that you are prepared. You don't want to go in and not know what you're talking about, or at least have an idea of what you're talking about. My next do is to dress appropriately. Ladies, if you're wearing a nice shirt or a blouse, make sure that your shoulders are covered, your stomach's covered, and your cleavage is covered. Pants, they could be dress pants, nice pants. If you wanna wear a skirt, make sure it is knee length or longer. Um, you could wear dress shoes, uh, flats, or heels. Um, don'ts for ladies, um, I would suggest not wearing spaghetti straps, anything that's gonna show your stomach or your cleavage, no party dresses. Your skirts aren't too short. Some do's for men to dress appropriately. I would suggest a long sleeve dress shirt with a tie or bow tie. You could also wear a polo shirt. Uh, make sure your shirt's tucked in with a belt, preferably. Your pants, dress pants, khakis, make sure they're nice. Um, your shoes, dress shoes, some don'ts for men. Um, I wouldn't wear just like a plain t-shirt to make, um, and your shirt's not tucked in. Don't have saggy pants. Um, Shoe-wise for both men and women, um, I would not wear tennis shoes or hiking boots. All right, my next do is about speaking. When you're speaking, make sure that you're talking um, with expression. Make sure you're moving your voice up and down. Maybe you're serious, but not too serious. You're excited, but not too excited. Um, a don't, don't use a monotone voice. You don't want to sound like this because that could get pretty boring and pretty long. So you want to make sure that you're using expression and you're excited or serious depending on what you're talking about and it'll keep people involved. Um, next thing is you want to speak loudly enough for everyone to hear but you don't want to yell. Make sure you're speaking clearly. Um, when speaking, don't talk quietly because if you sit up there and you're talking quietly, not everybody can hear you. Um, don't mumble. My next do is positive body language. Make sure you're standing tall, make sure you're moving around, turning towards the audience, and making sure to get their attention. My don't is do not have negative body language. You don't want to slouch, you don't want to look at your paper or look at the floor and talk like this. You don't want to cross your arms like you're mad that you're up there. My next tip is eye contact. Make sure that you're looking at the audience. I know sometimes looking at the audience can be very scary, but my tip for you is to pick three spots in the crowd or behind the crowd to look at throughout your speech when you're at a period or at the end of the thought. So then it'll look like you're looking at the audience, but really you're just looking at your three points. As I said, in the negative body language, you don't wanna hide behind your paper. They wanna be able to see you and hear what you're saying and if you have the paper in front it may block what you're saying and you may not be able to hear it. Um, avoid unnecessary movements. I know I said in the positive body language to make sure that you're moving and um, you don't want to move too much. You don't want to be flapping your arms everywhere and running across the um, across the stage. So make sure you're not using too much movement. All right, now I have some tips for you for before your speech. My very first one is breathing. If you start to feel nervous and you start to feel a little anxious, try breathing. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I like to think of smelling bacon. Smelling bacon in through my nose. Breathe in, count to four, and then blow out the candle, counting to four also. Do it a couple times, maybe five or so times, and it'll calm you down. My next one is if you need to, stand in front of a mirror. Say some positive things to yourself. Say you are brave, you are confident, you can do it. I know sometimes to help me out, I like to make a superhero pose. Put my hand on my hips, stick my chest out, and I do it for about 15 seconds or so, and it'll make me feel very comfortable. I also would like you to remember, you can do it. Breathe, relax, and have fun. Bye.